Drava, my name is Borut Petrlin, top sheet photography. And uh, if you know, if you're following me, then you know I set myself a challenge to do more vlogs, and I'm doing this kind of like live. Um, before we continue, I, I set a photo challenge last week, and I ask you who is the author of this. Um, photograph and who is the painter of course the challenge was not difficult it's Duane Michaels and René Magri is uh, is the painter here are a few more um, vlog I mean pictures the portraits and I really like them actually this one is excellent <laughs> Magritte with hat you guessed it right it was not so difficult uh, it's really iconic image and now let's continue with another photo challenge uh, for next uh, for the for this episode. So let me ask you who is the author of this photo? I mean, it's just amazing. Of course, this is another painter. And look at that! Look how beautiful that portrait is. <laughs> really beautiful photo huh? even if you don't know the author now you can check the comments and uh, now you know you learn something um, of course we have who is the author of photograph who is the painter on the on the on the photo and perhaps in whose flat this portrait was taken <laughs> let's see okay Tomorrow is Sunday, today is Sunday, it's raining, it's cold, but tomorrow I have a big job. It's a commercial job and I set myself, I ask myself, should I prepare for a commercial job because I have to or should I do another photo book review? I mean, the dilemma worth of ancient tragedies, right? <laughs> and that's the key word. Um, a, a Greek tragedy, that's the key word. Because today in the house we have John Demos from, you know, he's a key role in, uh, in Greek photography and a living legend of European photography. He was most active between 90s and he still is. <laughs> I met I met the guy in uh, what in Kaunas uh, in Lithuania a few few years ago. Nevertheless, I bought this book a long time ago. Probably this book was published in uh, 2002 by Aperon Photos. Probably that's his publishing house of uh, John Demos. I'm not sure. Uh, nevertheless, I bought this book uh, around that year uh, on, um, on Frankfurt Book Fair. I remember very much that I was really impressed. What, what was I impressed about? I'm glad you asked. Okay, so this, the title is Shadows of Silence. So basically what we have here is li literally an example of Greek mythology, the, um, oh, we can have a picture on picture, in picture, let's see, yeah, something like that, that's good, maybe on top left, <laughs> so what we have here is, look at that, oh, no, let's go, this way will be better, uh, it's really, really great um, photos, of course, everything done on film, I will make my chances and I will say it's a, it's a Leica <laughs> because, because John Demos was uh, representing also a Magnum uh, agency together uh, and Rafa agency and Sigma agency. So basically in Greek, in Greece, in Greece. So together with his uh, wife Bernardine, he's a great promoter of uh, classic black and white photography. And this is what I love in him, you know, it's really... In, Greece has a it's a it's a known of it's a known country of bright sun and uh, long deep shadows. So, <clears throat> and this is a perfect look at that. It's a perfect scene. It's a perf perfect scenography for a Greek tragedy, right? Look at that and all this 
look how beautiful it is you know like this child playing here this old guy going there look at that i'm sorry for my crappy camera i cannot switch off the uh, this all this information but you get the point so uh, let's continue so i really really love this book because as i said it's, it's a full of contrast and when i saw it first i remember clearly i was so impressed by this printing you know like really deep and um this high contrasty um yeah look at that again really cool stuff really really cool stuff so i was really impressed how he uses this uh silhouette this form and i love this uh, this and this as i said ancient greek tragedy you know like this ladies look at that i guess these are some what was the word <laughs> uh, pilgrim pilgrims and oh look at this one oh i have to show you this one from close look at this one isn't that amazing sorry for distortion of my camera it's really beautiful photo Alan Watts uh, did really a good essay of, of pilgrims that are um, experiencing tremendous suffering, like in South America when they're crucifying themselves. And anyway, it's off the topic, but the point is the, the battle between good and evil, between black and white, you know, that's the story here and that's the language here, and I love it. I hope you see, I, I hope it will touch you also. I hope you will enjoy it too. I have a couple of objections actually. Okay, let's switch this off. Look at this one. You know, this one looks like two photographs, right? Let me come closer. You see this gap here? I'm not sure if it if it's if it's if it helped the photo because it actually brings a dynamic inside or if it ruined it i'm not sure i can see i can see um i can see good points for one and the other <laughs> yeah you know i love this kind of uh just a position when a picture of a nature it's more than a nature it's just a symbol in this book you know it's a symbol there are all people here like with there with ours with our tragedy <laughs> let's say and then we have this picture of a nature that is really amazing and um it's a symbol and yeah, look at that just black and white like no information like really like as i said it's it, it looks like a ancient tragedy this one okay i will do some daring thing <laughs> you know i was a photo editor for what eight nine years like professionally and um and i learned how to crop and i learned how to be ruthless and i will dare myself i will allow myself in my little world from the education for educational purposes only i'll crop this photo i know i hear you i hear screams and that's okay so look at this one and now look 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 at this one Or even better like this wait i'm looking at the monitor instead of 
Well, here he, here he is holding the, the glass, I mean the bottle. But look at that. A little more open here. Look at this one. Isn't that like a, like a, doesn't that inf looks like a, I don't know, Jesus. I mean, the suffering of a Jesus, of, of Jesus. Of course, he's holding a bottle. That's like a, a twist, you know, in, in good, every good story needs to have a twist. But his face is just amazing. In my opinion, is too much space around this photo. It has to be more cropped. And um, anyway, as I said, it's a small game. You know, I'm, I'm just like as a, I, I, I used to be a photo editor and this is in me, in my genes. You know, I always see how to, what's the, what's the key thing? Let's save the space, you know, let's save the space and let's bring in more not safe, but actually let's concentrate the image. Let's, how can I get rid of stuff so the image is more concise and so more precise. Anyway, let's continue. It's amazing photo, but and it's amazing, amazing, amazing photo. Okay, let's continue. This one. Oh my goodness, it took my breath away when I've seen it. Look at that. It looks like a Madonna and a child, right? Okay. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that just simply breathtaking? This is, this is the, the photography, you know, the, the catched moment at its, its best, you know, the decisive moment at its best. And uh, John Demos um, was definitely, or is definitely um, a guy that appreciate this kind of magnum mentality. And um, yeah, look at that. Look at that. You know, if I'm honest, I would, um, I mean, this was done in 2002, but today I would crop it fully, you know, just to have this drama here with the face. Again, let me come closer with this camera. Look at this one, this face, look at that face there. Look at this silk head. So I would crop all this away. No, let me, let me prepare a crop. Yeah, somebody will get angry, but it's my world, it's my life, na 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 na, it's my book, <laughs> it's my show. Anyway, you get the idea, right? Maybe even like that. <laughs> Sorry, you know, as I said. It's my show, I can do whatever I want. I do this because I respect, you know, this work. I really admire this work. And, you know, I'm trying to see with fresh eyes and uh, just see what I will do. You know, this is really crucial, guys. This is really, really crucial. When you see a masterpiece, don't be afraid to think, how would you do it? You know, how would you make it better? When you see Picasso next time, Yes, ask yourself if Guernica would be better in color. <laughs> yes, be, do the blasphemy see in your imagination. You know, you have to challenge yourself because if you will not do it uh, with other works and with masterpieces, you will not do it with your own work too and you will become boring. Yeah, look at this one. Oh, when I saw this image again, look at this, look at that, how beautiful is that, how beautiful is that, it's like an abstract painting, you know, that's why I love, it looks like an abstract painting with all these shapes and squares 
and lines and dramatic, dramatic light. But it's dealing with the real thing. You know, you recognize the window, you recognize the, the gesture, you recognize the face, you recognize the landscape, you know. But in the line of, uh, on the level of forms, is just like an abstract painting. That's why I really love it. Maybe it's just my imagination. Look at that, look at that. Beautiful. Black, white. Good, evil. Tragedy. A Greek tragedy. Yeah, look at that. What is that? You know, you, you wonder, yeah. So, that's why I love this. And again, like a big open photo of a, of a tree. Here are the people, this guy here. Look at this. One third, two thirds. Third, 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 perfect composition. Look at this, lines leading, you see? It's really crucial when you compose. Oh, oh, this photo, I'm sorry, I have to come again, again closer with my little camera. No, no, not this one, <laughs> this one. Why? Because this photo, I mean, the photo as you see it, is like that, but you have to come closer. Look what is going on here. The, the heads of the horses are kind of disappearing. You know, and then this guy, and this head of this horse is also, you know, disappeared. <laughs> it's really... It's super surreal. It's super surreal. And I love it. I love it. I really, really love it. <clears throat> As you can see, a really strong contrast between white and black. And look at this one. Look at this one. Again, I would crop it. You see, here is a cross. Let me, let me crop it. It's my life. Something like that. Maybe a little bit more room. See this one and then this one. This one and this one. I'm not sure if you see, let, let's come closer. Let's come closer. If you see this detail or across, you see, and then da -da 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 this space. Hey, wh what does uh, this image uh, reminds you on? <clears throat> For me, it reminds me on Twin Peaks, <laughs> of that scene when this uh, ghost, you know, what, what was his name, I, I forgot, but actually this killer, goes <coughs> reappear somewhere and then you see it and then you don't so this is kind of kind of um, image that it's, it's just association it's nothing to do it's just association that uh, it's triggered by this photo I really love it this is a um, somebody died here. I don't know what you call it, this. Oh, so good, huh? It's really, really good. Look at this diagonal. And this border between life and death. And look at their faces. I mean, if this is not a Greek tragedy at its best, look at their faces. They are next, and they know it. And the only thing is this thin line dividing them from the eternal path. <laughs> That's what it is. It's a Greek tragedy. And we have to see it like that. You know, this is really beautiful, beautiful um, piece of work. And I really love it. And this one, look at this one. This is probably my favorite photo of all. 
again. You know what? If I'm honest, when I first, if I'm honest, I will again crop this image. But why? Because in the first go, I didn't, I haven't seen this face. And this is what matters, you know, these two faces. Black, white, life, death. Let me try to crop it. Okay. Okay, let me explain how I'm thinking about when I crop. It's not just a taste. It's a, actually, it's not a taste. It's actually how are you telling a story. For instance, this one is uh, what, you, what, what you want. It's, it's a, it's a, it, these two elements are, you know, are being are plus and minus and this actually you don't need so much around and look in the middle this is such a tiny such a tiny if you okay Okay, let me explain how I am, what is my mentality, how I think when I'm cropping an image. First of all, I'm not cropping all the images in the same way. No, no, no. The point is you have to ask yourself, what do you want? Do you want to have a tight crop? Do you want to, with the crop, intensify the tension or you want to calm down? Do you need a space around to wander and relax? Or you need to crop, like somebody's, like a, like a edge of the photo is threatening to swallow the image. Greek tragedy. <laughs> so, let's go back to the image. So this is one, this is the black, the death, and this is the alive. Although, <laughs> We are talking symbolically. She is alive, and unfortunately, this young fellow died. And mother or grandmother is crying about his destiny. So I want to... Of course, I want to increase the tension here. So that's why I will emphasize this. Look at that. You know, look. If I'm if I'm too close, if I'm too close with the this border, oh, I should make it brighter. If if this border is too close, it's actually if I want to bring more attention to the one on the left, I have to open up. You see. So there is more space on the left. So your eye will be more on the left. And then it will be like that. You see? And another thing. This hand is really beautiful. But this photo works without? Yes, it does. This is a photo more dramatic if it's a tight crop or if it's an uncropped well the decision is yours uh, as a viewer um, I know what my preference is and I know how John Demos uh, cropped it and everything is good all is good you know there is no right and wrong it's just we're just talking good let's continue kind of a um, 
I love this kind of, uh, I don't know, um, in between images, you know, they're connecting, they're having the same feeling, but they're showing totally different thing. That's a very good recipe, guys. Try to find, to get, I don't know, to photograph branches and tell a story about people. Okay, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this, um, this book. I really like it. It's one of the books that really influenced me, especially when I, done, uh, when I studied uh, in London College of Printing. Uh, remember to give a comment. Who is this um, uh, author of this photograph? It's a very famous photographer, known to photograph famous people. <laughs> Good, enough said, enough said. Thank you so much. Uh, if you want to support me, you can support me through the Patreon. One second, graphics on. Through the Patreon or, or, or visit my shop, buy stuff, whatever. Thank you so much for my Patreons. Uh, in my next vlogs, I will, I will sort out the credits so all your names will be listed. But at the moment, I didn't find the time to it. But anyway, I'm really, really grateful. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and let people know, you know, what's up. Uh, goodbye.